Hello and welcome to another episode of Water Blog. I'm um, sorry it's been so long since we last posted. Uh, quite a lot's happened in the last year. I've had a little baby. I've been um, single-handedly trying to rebuild a house as well, but we're back today on the bank. As you can see, I'm on the river. It's a fairly mild um, morning. It's about four degrees. There's been a few frosts recently, but the wind is actually quite warm, even though it is still very cold. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get a fish or two on the bank. Primarily, we're after roach today. I've got some, um, I've got some bread. I've got some hemp. Maggots are a bit difficult to get your hands on at the moment, so uh, so I'm gonna have to stick with the uh, the old-fashioned baits, and uh, I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm doing and uh, where I'm fishing as well. Okay, so just a few trots through and I've got a first fish on. What have we got here? It's silver. And my sneaking suspicion is is it's not a roach, but in fact. Yeah. Lovely, lovely little grayling. Right, let's just put the rod down. What have we got here? Oh, that's nice to see. Beautiful. On bread, of course. Let's go and look quickly. Whew. Right in the lip there. Beautiful. Lovely little grayling. Right, off you go, fella. There we are. So, where I'm fishing here, what we've got effectively is a is quite a pacey run which moves very quickly into a big corner. And I've got the sort of the, the slower slack, you can see the back eddy here, just in front of me. And I'm just trying to fish along that slower crease, because the water out by the tree there is a lot too, too quick really, and it's not really where Roach would want to hang out. But this slower water, even though it's quite turbulent, it's fairly smooth down by the tree. So we'll keep fishing it. I'll just untangle my rig and uh, I'll keep you updated. All right, so I've been in this swim now about 35 minutes or so, I would say, something like that. Just a steady stream of um, breadcrumb going in. Just get that float in the right place. <coughs> and um, yeah, a couple of fish, obviously that small one and then lost one. Now, if I, if I had, um, if I had maggots, I'm sure I would have provoked these fish into a bit of a frenzy. Certainly the grayling, they seem to just come up from, sort of, you know, half a mile down the river sometimes. There we go, a nice little pinch of bread there. But, as I say, it's the big roach which we're really trying to find and, I mean, I was up here in summer trying to spot the shoals, but it was typical. It was the one day they'd sort of flash flooded and there was so much colour in the water, which is virtually unheard of, to be fair. But conditions today are absolutely perfect for a fish. If I can get my reels to go, there we go. I think it's going to just be a trick of trying to find that, that smooth, pacey water, which they're just going to love to sit in so they're not expending too much energy. The, the, the trot here, which I'm trying to make, is just, oh, I don't know, it's lovely, and I think if the, if the river's up about, I mean, it's up about half a foot, I'd say, but if it wasn't up, I think it would probably be absolutely bob on. You can tell a few anglers fish here from the state of the banks. Although that said, the banks are an absolute mud fest anyway, because of all the rain. I'm going to try one slightly more out in the main current. This float's going to struggle. Actually, not too much weed coming down, so that's about that's, that's exactly the sort of pace I want. And given its head, the float actually fishes quite well, but I have to help the centre pin along to do its job. Yeah, just not as many bites as I'd hope. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just increase the amount of um, hemp feed. Yeah. 
increase the amount of hemp feed because then I know it's getting down where the bait is. Of course, the problem is when it's so pacey with the bread is it's just it is just going all the way down the swim. Well, let's just have one more cast and then think about finding another swim. It might be a case of having a little wander about. Right, let's feed a bit more. Feed a bit more red. I'm literally chucking it down here. And then it's sort of coming up and round and creating a lovely, a lovely feeding patch along this inside edge. I'll just do this. There we go. Let the bait overtake the float. Oh, I know I happen to know there's a feature there that keeps snagging on, probably a little weed bed. So let's see if I can get it past that. Yep, we're away. Oh. That is beautiful. I needed to get out on the bank for a long time, I have to say. As I'm sure a lot of people have recently. There we go. It always, when I've not been fishing a little while, it always takes me a couple of hours to sort of get back into the rhythm of, um, of trotting. It's it can be a remarkably fiddly way of fishing if you've not done it for a little while. Certainly with fine lines. It almost becomes second nature after a little while, but no, nothing there. Right, okay, one more, one, one more, one last cast, and then I think we'll move on. I'll leave that bit of bread on if it stays. Just get it right there we are, we'll get it upstream. The idea of getting it upstream is that it just gives the bait a chance to get down. A better angler than I would have changed the float by now, but with a couple of hours on the bank, it's not the end of the world, right? That's that feature. We need to just bring the bait over that because it keeps. There we are. I can see the bait wafting up nicely. That's where we want it. Enticing. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. Just a little bit longer here, I think. It's strange how when you when you start to learn a swim you can just sort of tell where where those bites are gonna come from <laughs> and then it's your own fault if you miss them right okay let's try that again that's right in close there we go I'm gonna have the same problem about here I'm gonna have to lift the float over that feature too close now. Let's lift the float. Bait's up, bait's down, and we're away. There we go. Yeah, man, that's the one. Holding back all the time. Just really, just. I mean, this is the beauty, absolute beauty. One way, if you go on bait. There we are. We're up again. This is the absolute beauty of fishing. Uh, fishing centre pin is just so precise. Find there's not too much wind about. You can be so accurate. That's about where we had that bite. Anything today? Yes! There we go. Okay. Good. So that feels a bit more thumpy thumpy. I imagine that is probably another grayling. But we'll see how we get on. It's good fish. Yeah, splashing. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder what could be splashing around in my swim. I wonder. Come to crash the party, haven't you, mate? Here he comes. He's uh, fighting quite delicately, which is good. Cool. There we are. Good. I'll just grab the net. Go softly with him. A bit more line on the reel. In you come. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy, lovely brown. There we go. Well, not what we're here for, <laughs> but blow me, that's a pretty fish. Let's just sort him out quickly. Cool. Right in the top of the mouth there. 
Look out. Look at him. Wow, wee. What a fish. Wow, wee. What a beautiful creature. Little adipose fin. Right, chap. Let's get you back in, shall we? Someone would love to have you in the summer. So a bit more bait's gone in and we've got another fish. There we go. Mm, looks like another little diddly grayling. But I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it today. Oh, lovely. Let's have a look at it. Beautiful little fish. Beautiful. Lovely. Good. Okay. <laughs> we found some fish. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Okay, so again, I would love for this to be a roach. <laughs> I would love for this to be a roach. The trick of this is going to be netting it now. Be a bit careful here. It does drop off quite, quite significantly. Oh, maybe. We'll try over here. Looks a bit more, a bit better for it. Yeah, there we go. Inch my way down. Yeah, I'll find some perches. There we go. I'll bring the net round. Should be able to get that little feisty little jab in now. Okay, come on in. Ready, and you're in. Good. Well, I think what I'll do while I'm down here on the water side, I think I'll sort him out here. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, good hooking. Let's pop that hook out. complain about that can they? Let's pop you back little one and try and get ourselves out of this water. <laughs> okay, re-tackled, re we're off again with fishing. I'm going to give it one more go in this pool. Although this float is struggling in that main float. Ooh. And I can see the snag, it's a big old tree root basically. It seems to be and it's part again, let's just try it down the back end. Hope you can hear me over this fast water crumbs. If there was ever a swim that held barbel in this river, it would be somewhere like this. Beautiful. Right, let's try that one more time. And then move on to the next swim, see if we can find some fish. Slightly more, there we go. Some slightly more gentle water. Problem is you just can't walk past a swim like this, can you, without having a little go. Just a little go. No. Oh. Bit of bread. Just put it on the back edge there. Oops. Oops. Okay, that's the one. Okay, now look. That looks 
like a very oops looks like a very good grailing actually what the hell am i going to do with this okay i'm going to have to go very gently with this fish oh no it's all right worry over so we brun through it right i'm going to just try and get myself up on this log so i can land this fish See what I'm doing now? There we are. <laughs> the most precarious place in the world. <laughs> really big fish on. Oh, oh god, careful now. I'm really being very delicate with this. Very delicate indeed. Luckily it's not. Woof! Oh, hell's bell. See, this is when. It's good to have a bit of backbone. Right, okay. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, he's too big for my neck. And he's mine. Bloody hell. Oh, that's a relief. Well, let's sort him out. Yeah, chap. Get that hook out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. But he's just in the chops. Let me just pull him out. There we go. Well, if I'm not otherwise mistaken, I'd say that is an out-of-season sea trout. What a beautiful fish. All right, back you go, chap. There we go. Lovely. Good. Good. Ah, so it just goes to show, little, <laughs> a little pools like this are sometimes worth a look in. Okay, and we're off. Yeah, cast in there. I've shallowed up to about a foot and a half in depth. There's a bit of, if you can hear it, there's a bit of grit in my reel which I might just take out. Oh, yeah, just far too fast at the top end for my little float. But let's just see how it, how it fares. That's a fish. That's a way. <laughs> I hope you caught that and decided to jump in the air. Well, then come off. As I say, screams trout this little beat. We'll give it a couple of run throughs because we're here and we can. Oh, I hope you did catch that. That was pretty athletic. Lovely brown trout. All right. There we go. Find slightly less pacey water here. Hopefully you can see that going through. That's actually quite nice. Uh, Centrewind's had a chance to catch up a little. Oh, it's a lovely run that is. Lovely. Just make out the float. This is where that fine tip really doesn't come into its own. It's just a bit too, a bit too lightweight. A bit more feed on that line. A little bit, that's quite a little higher up as well. There we go. Just trying to get a bit of a bit of a carpet or something down anyway. Just rolling that bread around the hook. You see the hook in the in the parcel? There we go. Right. There we go. Right on that back edge. That looks like the one, doesn't it? That's a nice spot. That's where it just deepens up just there. If I can just hold it back on that back edge, yes. That's the oh yeah, that's the one. That's where the fish are, obviously. Let's see if we can just get that line again. So you want it just there. Oh, Liz just about a foot off that beat there, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it its chance. Oh, bringing it round. 
That's good. Oh, that's the bottom. Hold it back so just nice smooth water there as well. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Well, I'm back at the little weir pool here. Um, apparently there's been a few salmon jumping, so I might stick around and see if I can see anything. Um, I snapped up on that tree, um, so I think I'm going to call the fishing a day here. And uh, I really look forward to coming back to this, um, this section because uh, there's a lot of fishing to go at. I think maggots will be the order of the day. Um, and a bit more watercraft in the, in the summer trying to locate those fish. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We look forward to seeing you on the bank soon. Cheerio!